KTRS. Uh, let's check in with Brad Garrett, ABC <clears throat> News, Crime and Terrorism Analyst. Good morning, Brad Garrett. Good morning, McGraw. All right, so when you look at what's going on down in uh, Austin with this bomber, you're saying there are some similarities or at least things we've learned from the Unabomber? What's, what's going on here? Yeah, I mean, we can only say similarities, McGraw, in that somebody dropping packages uh, at, at someone's residence or a particular address, obviously, Kaczynski mailed the packages back in the day. I'm not sure you could pull that off today, actually. Um, but you've got a guy dropping packages uh, at at least three different locations. Um, and I, I will say this. I mean, uh, is there similarity in the bombs? I don't know. I think there's certainly similarities between the three bombs because they've linked them. And that's that's really the quickest way to potentially link them is the component, the unique components of the bomb. What did he use, you know, as an activator, a detonator? Uh, what, what is the explosive material? You know, is it a pipe bomb? Like, I'm going to guess it's some version of an IED um, that, you know, is set to open when you pop the lid that we all do every day of boxes. I mean, we don't know anything about these people, this group, this this lone wolf, right? We know nothing about this. We, we know nothing at, at this point. And, you know, think about it this way. You have to start when you have no leads about who the person is. You really have to start with what do you have? That's tangible. Well, you and I just talked about the bomb. Is there anything unique about the bomb? Is there a component in it that's unique that might lead to a vendor or or somebody else? That's one possibility. Is there any link, McGraw, between the victims? In other words, did they go to the same church, the same social circles, the same fill in the blank? I'm going to guess the answer to that's no, but I don't know yet, obviously. So, but that's where you're going to look. So you may, at the end of the day, have no link between the victims and no specific reason they were targeted, which would then suggest, like Kaczynski, that he targeted something that people represent. Remember, he targeted primarily uh, academics, CEOs, and the airlines, because he, you know, his big thing was technology. So, yes, he did send them to individuals, but it wasn't those individuals is what they represented. These guys, I call them grievance collectors. They collect all this rage and grievance against whatever. You know, you can you can guess what that might be. Is it some law in Austin that just passed? Is it something something triggered him? But he's mad, and this is all about revenge. Um, and you know, we'll find out more obviously when they catch him. Yeah. Um, uh, well, it took them a long time to find the Unabomber. Um, do you have hopes that the, it'll be shorter for them to find this person? Probably. I think, you know, first of all, Kaczynski sent packages all over the United States. And, you know, he was so meticulous at what he was doing. If he hadn't sent those manifestos in, I don't know that he would have gotten caught. Right. So, you know, will this guy make a mistake? They do like the attention. Now, what he's doing is pretty tricky. You're talking about dropping packages at a residence. Now, did he get caught on somebody's CCTV? I don't know. I hope. Uh, you know, so we'll see. We'll see if this dies down. There were, I think the first bombing McGraw was on the 2nd of March, and then you had two bombings on Monday. So, you know, will he cool off a little bit, let things simmer down, and then start tossing packages again? We'll see. And he might change the MO. He might, like, pretend the package is a FedEx or whatever, and people need to be cognizant of that. Yeah. Do you have any helpful hints for people who are worried about packages left on their front door now? Absolutely. Do not open a package that you can't track. In other words, I have alerts. You know, UPS and FedEx send me alerts saying you're getting a package dropped in the next three hours. Right. And I and I know something's coming. Those type of things. If it's from, you know, a, a package you don't know where it's got a lot of stamps on it. You're just not really sure. Then don't open it. Have somebody check it. So the key is, can you can you go back to the origin and say this is okay? If you can, then you're, you're good to go. And it's a bit of a pain. Now, do you and I need to do that in St. Louis and Washington? Probably not to that degree, but but clearly if you lived in Austin, I would. Yeah. Brad Garrett, ABC News, Crime and Terrorism Analyst. Take care of that cold. Thanks for the insights. Have a good day.